Darwin! Uh, Where do you think you're going? Uh, buy some stuff at the shop? What are you doing? He's your son! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, little guy. From now on, I'll always be there for you. <laughs> Darwin, I think he's ready for his first steps. Wait! Go ahead. Come on, don't be shy. Come to Daddy. Aw, he's kind of got my eyes. Don't you think? <laughs> ah, I got my chocolate too! Dude, if what babies do is just suckling. It's not suckling, it's baby! Okay, relax. He's just playing. He'll come off on his own. Okay. 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 <laughs> 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 These teeth are sinking in! Okay, that's enough! Bad baby! Stop mauling your father and get back in your jar this instant! <laughs> <laughs> He's got my dad! I know what it is. <laughs> he must be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it doesn't like fruits, vegetables, or cereal. But it does like pigeons, rats, raccoons, seagulls, and the mailman's butt. What was all that noise? What are you two up to? What is that thing? It's our baby. What are you talking about? Where did you find it? It came out of the microwave. Are you sure it didn't come out of the toilet? It's disgusting. They always look a bit funny when they're just born. He's actually very advanced for his age. You should have seen him catch that seagull. What? You let that monster out? Look, I was trying to be nice here, but you better stop insulting our child or I don't know what I'll do. It's not a child. And what is it doing in my high chair? <gasps> don't listen to her, Kenneth. She's just jealous. You called it Kenneth? Baby needs a name. Look, like it or not, you're Kenneth's aunt. Now, we're gonna buy more pigeon traps. You babysit. Are you crazy? Where do you think you're... Ugh. I guess you're kind of ugly cute. What kind of animal are you? Wow, those are pretty pointy teeth. What the... <laughs> Kenneth, we're home! Oh, what a mess. Where's the knife? Yeah, I knew she'd bail. Gumball, has Kenneth grown? Growing into a troublemaker? This place is a mess. Naughty Kenneth. Parcel for the water sheds. Did Kenneth just eat the mailman? Oh, no, no, no. That's not possible. Not my Kenneth. Well, where is he then? What do I know, mailing? I'm more worried about Kenneth. Does it look to you like he's gaining weight? I'm more worried about his attitude. This boy needs discipline. <sighs> I think we need parental advice. So, um, we're doing this school project. Uh-huh. And uh, we've got to look after this uh, gross dog thing. I'm with you. And we need your help disciplining it. Okay. It's pretty simple. Kind of like children, actually. The first thing you have to do is let it know you're the pack leader. So, you look them in the eyes and tell them firmly you're the boss. Now, you've been a naughty doggy. Dad, he's got your finger. Well, that's to be expected, son. The best thing to do is to remain calm and reassert your authority. Yeah, but it seems to be eating your arm. <laughs> it's just testing its boundaries. The worst you can do is give it attention for negative behavior. I have always found that a positive reinforcement approach is the best way to be. Dad! Get us eaten, Dad! And probably out of East, too! We've got to save them! <laughs> Kid, sorry I'm late. I... Ow! What the? Mom! Something terrible in the garden and it became in the microwave and became alive and swallowed the mailman and dad and the nanny didn't want to eat us and we out here it. What? <laughs> what is trying to say is the microwave must it was nice and fresh and everyone is horrible and it's in the garden and it's really dangerous. We need to go to army to talk to you, Kim Rizzo. Okay, okay. Slow down, boys. Where's your father? <gasps> ah! It's turned to a monster and now it's coming to get us! Oh, for goodness sake, it's probably just a raccoon. I'll go and check. You stay here. No! Don't go outside! Richard? Where are you? What's wrong with the kids? They haven't been this scared since you made them wax your back. Richard, you better not be trying to scare me. 